Zach Massey, the Scott Murphy and Daniel project manager for the National Corps Vet Museum Sky Dome Repairs. Uh, crews have been working on installing the micro piles. They're grounding micro piles. You'll see some cuts of grounding in there. What these guys are doing is once we drill the micro pile itself, drill a hole, pull all the drilling still out of the hole, and then we slip line this with the, the micro pile, which is the thin diameter steel tube, seven inch tube. Once that tube's in the ground, we come back in and we drop a large rebar to the bottom of the hole that it goes past the bottom of the steel casing, the micropile casing, so there's a gap there between the bottom of the casing and the steel rebar. And then we grout this. Uh, what this grout is, it's a compaction grout or a low mobility grout. For those who know anything about concrete, this is a very thick mix, has a very very low slump, so it's almost a, uh, I can't describe the consistency, it almost comes out like toothpaste, it's very, very thick and viscous when we put this material down the hole. And what that grout does, it's about a 3,000, 4,000 PSI grout, and we inject that into the micropile, fill up the micropile casing, and go around that rebar, and that helps make the connection from the micropile to the bedrock. And so when we're putting that grout down the hole, that's under a, a monitored pressure. We have pressure gauges on our equipment, so we're able to track the volume of grout we're putting in, how much we're putting in, the rates we're putting it in, and that from that data from those parameters, we're able to uh, determine how much grout is in the hole. And then of course, we actually physically measure how much grout is in there. And occasionally you have to top off one or two of the micro piles to get it all the way up in the casing. But uh, that grouting process is how we basically lock the micro pile into the bedrock. So uh, another thing you'll see once we get the micro piles in the ground and the grout is in place, we come back and we have an elevation where these micro piles embed in our structural slab. So we'll go through there and we cut off the top of the micro pile at an exact elevation and we attach a 12 by 12 steel plate to the top of the micro pile. Uh, those can be made with multiple connections. Sometimes we drill through the top of that plate and make a bolted connection to the top of that micro pile. But you'll see you guys taking care of that. That's where we make our connection from the micro pile to our structural slab. So that plate is what gets embedded into our grade beam and that's how our transfer of our load goes from our slab to the micro pile down to our bedrock. So once these guys finish their drilling operations, they'll be out of here late next week, hopefully. And we'll be switching over to start, starting work on the structural slab. Uh, again, that's about a four week effort to get the structural slab in. We've got to excavate grade beams and we've got to tie in all the micropiles to the grade beams and the structural slab. So that'll be another long going effort there. But after that point, we'll start getting to the fine details of the work. And we're basically putting the museum back together the way it was. We're happy that we're at this point and enjoying some nice weather and glad to give you an update on the progress of the Corvette Museum. As always, we appreciate you keeping up with the museum and looking forward to talking to you next week.